This video is to show you how to make a basic whistle out of clay. And so we're gonna start with the whistle and then you're gonna be adding to it to make it more of a sculpture, um, but it should still function as a whistle. So I have my fresh clay here. And I'm gonna take a chunk out, set it aside. Um, what I wanna do first is we're using the pinch method, so we need to make two pinch pots and stick them together. And so I'm going to take these hunks of clay, I'm going to roll them into two spheres. I want them to be the same size so that they attach together pretty good. If you remember making a pinch pot, you start with the sphere of clay, and then you find a spot where you can stick your thumb into it. And so right there, it's kind of dimple wrinkled. So I'm going to put push my thumb in there. Not all the way through, but so there's a little divot. And then using my thumb and my outer fingers, I'm going to pinch the sides of the clay. So pinch, turn, pinch, turn. Pinch and turn all the way around. Eventually the inside becomes big enough where I can put my other thumb in there. I'm also gonna pinch along the bottom just to make sure there's not like a clay sitting on the base. And I'm gonna pinch. That looks like a pretty good half. Um, one thing to remember, you don't want to pinch the wall too thin. So I, I like to use my pinky, the width of my pinky. That looks pretty good. I'm also going to tip it over and tap it. Because that'll kind of flatten this area. Let's me know if I need to pinch anywhere else. And... Um, it'll be good for when I score and slip. So I'm going to make my other pinch pot. I want it to be about the same size so that they match up pretty well. Make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, those are gonna match up pretty, pretty good. The next step is to score and slip and attach these two. So I need to score where they're where the clay is gonna touch. So these outer rims here, these edges are gonna touch. So I'm gonna use my needle tool. Scratch up the clay. Any tool you have that scratches the clay can be used as a scoring tool. And when you're scoring, I, I go pretty quick because scoring doesn't have to be perfect. You just really have to just scratch that clay up. Couple directions, okay. So it is scored and then I'm gonna take my paintbrush and just on one of the, one of the sides, I'm gonna add a little bit of slip. I don't like to add too much because then it can get really sloppy. But just on one side. And now it's ready to attach. So I'm gonna set the top and then I'm gonna kind of push it together. And I kind of like to push and then wiggle it back and forth, kind of like locking it in. But still being gentle enough to keep it that hollow sphere so there's air on the inside that's important because that air is what's going to make the whistle right. so once it's attached i don't want the seam around it so i'm going to take my fingers i'm going to start just smooth that out it's just a lot of back and forth with the clay Kind of still just pushing that together a little bit, making it um, 
more secure, I guess you could say. And I'm not worrying about the overall shape at the moment because my clay is in that plastic moldable stage. And so I can really kind of push it around and change it however I want. But I want to cover up that seam. And you can see, like, there's a spot that could be smooth. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about smoothing everything out right now. That'll come at the end as I add my attachments and things. Now, I think I'm going to make this whistle. I'm going to make it into this box. So I have an image here to look at. Um, I can, like I have the sphere, which is good, but if I wanted to shape it and mold it a little bit, I could, as long as I keep the air on the inside. Like I don't want to squish that hollow inside. So I think what I'm going to do, because if I look at this picture, his snout is kind of like, pointed the rest of his head is kind of an oval round shape so maybe I kind of squeeze it to make more of like an oval um fix that little divot yeah more so it's not as round I kind of just squished it just just a little and I'll be able to add a piece to like make his snout. Okay, now I gotta think about where I wanna put that whistle piece. I'm gonna think about it for a little bit. And while I'm thinking about it, we're gonna make the whistle. To do that, you're gonna need two popsicle sticks. One, just a regular one. One that has a straight edge. And I believe I just cut this. Do I have a regular scissors on my desk? Let's see, yes. So I want it to be straight, so I think I just took a scissors, yep. And I just cut a straight edge. So you can do that. You could even, if you're making a whistle and the person next to you, you could share this one that has the straight edge, but you're both gonna need another one. So what we wanna do next is we wanna take some of this clay we're actually going to make the whistle piece. Um, so, kind of making like a little rectangle of clay. And I like to use the table and kind of tap. Tap each side on the table because it kind of will flatten it into that like rectangle shape. And then I'm going to take the popsicle stick and I'm going to push that right in the middle all the way through. And then I can keep kind of molding it and forming it. Okay. Looks like a popsicle, a popsicle right now. But there's clay on all four sides and I've stuck the popsicle stick all the way through. I'm gonna put that back in there because it needs to stay in there. Okay, next. I'm gonna push this down a little. I'm gonna stick this longer end of the popsicle stick into the hollow sphere that I made. Now when I do this, I can't just shove it right like in the middle or in the center. You want it to be level with the top part of it. So I want to stick this close to the top so that this piece just comes right off the top. So here's, let me pause. Here's what you don't want to do. Do not do this part. Don't just stick it right in the middle. See how it doesn't line up with the top part of the whistle? If you just shove it into the middle, it's not, the air isn't going to flow to make that whistle sound, okay? So that's not going to work. 
that's fixable. Just score. Slip a little bit of clay. We'll just cover it up with like a little clay patch. That's why I love clay. It's, it's fixable. It's always fixable. Okay. So that hole is covered up. It's fine. But now I want to stick this maybe right here. Okay, see how... I'm gonna pull that out. It's still where I want it to be, but I'm gonna cut this right here at an angle, the bottom piece, so that when I attach this, see how that fit a little bit better? Okay. And see how this is flush with the top? I can tell if I flip it over, it like lines up with the bottom. Okay, so that's where I want that to be. I'm gonna score and slip that. I'm gonna do, put it back. To know where to score, I'm gonna take my needle tool and I'm just gonna trace that outer edge. So I need to score right around here. I'm going to add just a little bit of slip. Okay, pushed it back on, wiggled it a little. Smooth that. Onto the clay. Kind of hide those lines. And you're going to leave that popsicle stick in there. The modeling tool works well to help smooth. Helps to get it started, I guess. Okay. Craftsmanship wise, it looks a little rough right now, but it is all fixable. Because this whistle is sticking pretty far out, I'm probably going to cut it down eventually so it's not so noticeable. Okay, the next step. For the whistle to work, you need like a little air hole kind of right here. You don't want it on top of the whistle piece because the air needs to like come in and circulate around and then come back out. So you want the hole to be like where the big hollow part is. That is where this post stick is going to come in handy. So what I'm going to do, I can see my popsicle stick here. I want to line this up where my popsicle stick is, and I'm going to press down, straight down. 
I hit the popsicle stick and that's okay. Then I'm gonna go to the sides here, press straight down. See how the hole we're making is like the width of the popsicle stick? So I made like this U shape by pressing just straight down. This side, I need to go at a 45 degree angle. So I'm not gonna go straight up and down, but I'm gonna come in at an angle here. Okay, and I'm gonna lift that piece out. See how this is at an angle? Okay. Now, I'm not done yet because I should see the popsicle stick or I should see the hollowness of the whistle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a loop tool. I have, will that fit? Okay, I have a loop tool that fits perfectly into this piece. So I'm gonna use that to like, ooh, I didn't wanna hit that angle. Maybe I don't want that one. Let's go straight down again. Here we go. Okay. You can start to see the popsicle stick down in there. I might take this little loop tool, kind of clean it up. I'm gonna pull this popsicle stick, carefully pull this out. Okay. I'm gonna use my needle tool, but right down in here, I should see a black, like I should see that hollow space, okay? I should see where that whistle is, or like, sorry, not where the whistle is, but I should see where it pokes into that um, hollow space. Oop, there's a hole. So this is where a loop tool is going to come in handy. So I'm going to take my loop. That one is too small, but this one feels too big. But I'm going to carefully remove the clay out of that spot. While still keeping like this shape that I have here. And just trying to like clean it up a little bit. When I want to try it, I'm going to blow into the whistle. Don't have a sound yet. So that could be because this isn't at the right angle. So maybe let's push that back. Try it. Maybe I need to make sure that airway is cleared. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did it. Okay, that surprised me. <laughs> so this will take some trial and error. What I did was I put my um, popsicle stick back in. Can you see it? And it's and I kind of put it underneath where I did this angle and I lifted it a little because I didn't think my angle was quite right here. So I'm glad it didn't work for me the first time. It probably won't work for you the first time. Um, I'm still going to kind of clean up my clay in there. Might use a just a damp. brush to kind of smooth that out all the while 
just making sure the whistle still works. This whistle is too, jutting too far out for me, so I'm also going to carefully make that smaller. Now when I did that, I squished that hole shut. So let's make sure I get that back in. Might have ruined the whistle. We'll find out. Yep. So I got to fix that. Okay, so that time I just had some clay blocking the airway here. So this is going to take, like I said, this is going to take some trial and error. Um, anytime, like, I mess with this whistle piece or when I'm attaching other things, I, I just want to be aware of the whistle. I'm going to smooth that out right now. Make sure it's the shape that I want. And then I'm going to try it again just to make sure that, yes, it works how I want it to.